knock us off. He is trying to knock us off right now. Uh-uh. 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 What am I gonna call you? Bruce. Yep, yep. Standard Bruce. What is going on, my friends? Skofu here with another episode of Stranded Deep. So first off, we gotta talk real quick. Uh, something was wrong with my last recording. I recorded a previous episode, and then at the end of the episode, I saved the game, and that's where you see us now. But there was something wrong with the recording. So to catch you back up to speed, that's our home island right there, right in front of us. See, I have an arrow pointing back that way. We did a whole, I did a whole 30 minutes and all that kind of stuff, and we came over here, we explored this island. It's another large island, just like the one we live on, but there's nothing that great about it. It doesn't set itself apart. There were there were quite a few wrecks around here, as as you can see. Like we picked up a fuel tank, we picked up a propeller, um, we've got all this stuff, a compass, and my inventory is full too. And we have all this stuff that I got to figure out if I want to uh, take it back over there or not. Um, and I figured. You know, we're, like I said, we're going to do everything on camera. You're going to be with me for all the travels, all the stuff. I'm not going to go off and do stuff off camera. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry that it kind of... You guys don't get to see the last episode. Because, you know, I did stuff. And I came over here and I built this. Anyway, <clears throat> it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and lay stuff out so I can figure out what stuff I want to take over. So... We'll go ahead and drop this here. Uh, we can drop these planks right here. Okay, now oh, now it's getting light outside. So we picked up, we got a flare gun. Oh, there's some more engine stuff. So we'll drop the engine stuff here. I'll drop this over here. Man, stuff really likes to fly around in this game. We got a machete, we got some more buoy balls. Alright, so I think we can actually craft us a raft base now. <clears throat> but I don't necessarily want to do that over here. I would want to do that on our main island. So priority things to take for me right now are our engine components. And I don't necessarily need these right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so I want to take... Yeah, we'll take lashings. We'll take all these buoys. Uh, I've got coconuts that I haven't drank, and I've got coconuts that I have drank that can be food. Right now our health is good, our food is good, and our water is good. So what else can we fit? We'll take that. We'll take the compass. And um, we have some more room, so oh, want to take that. Yep. Uh, we'll take the scrap metal. Corrugated scrap metal. <clears throat> How are we doing on inventory? So I, now let's take these. And that should be inventory full. Yep. Yeah. So now let's go ahead and uh, head back to home base. And off we sail into this beautiful, beautiful... Oh, hold on. Real quick. Be right back. All right, sorry about that. I just wanted to double check on the graphics to make sure nothing was corrupted with that little first four minutes. Um, I can hear the heartbeat. We have a uh, shark next to us. Hopefully Sharky Boy doesn't knock us into the water. There was also another island um, on the other side of this one or down that way or something like that. There was another big one too. So we're like surrounded by some pretty big islands. Um, yeah. So we're going to continue on. We're going to go back and forth, take these supplies. I hear the shark. Oh, see him right below us? He's right there. He was a second ago. I don't know if you could see him or not. Oh, man. Please don't knock us off. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm also kind of like starting to get a little bit of a cold. So, And that mixed with the new microphone that you guys aren't used to me having. Um, I know I'm sure I sound way different, but... It's better quality surround sound for me and better quality with well, that was a big wave. And better quality recording for you guys. It's not gonna pick up all those ambient sounds like my old microphone was doing. But that's good. That's good. We're gonna get over here, we're gonna drop off all our stuff, and we're pretty much gonna go back and grab everything. 
check on everything here. And uh, then we'll figure out what we're going to do. I don't have any specific plans set in place yet, but I just wanted to gather a whole bunch of resources from the big island and start moving them towards our island. That looks like just a big old thing of coral right here. Yeah, there's rocks and coral. Okay. <clears throat> and then we can also, in the, like, we can start working on a base. Um, we can go explore other islands. I would rather, like, bef like I want to get a good motor boat running. So I don't think we're going to have all the components for an engine yet. I think we'll still be short something. Probably, like, duct tape or something easy like that. All right, we are here. So now let's go ahead and just kind of drag this up because I don't want it to float away. I don't know if it can float away or not. I don't want to risk it. That is not something I want to find out. Oh, crap. Okay, so I forgot. I traveled two islands worth. So I originally came to this island. There was nothing special, and I saw that island way out in the distance that was big, and that's where we just were right now. So I actually have to drag this bad boy all the way to this side of the island. Still with me? Yep, still with me. Yeah, there was just like sticks and fike it, like nothing special here. Uh, there wasn't anything good in that wreck. Nothing special. So we will. As you can see, like I had to build a hut here, I had to sleep here. Um, there's nothing really laying- what the heck? Those birds are so loud. Might as well... I can't grab the fruit right now. I'll just drop this real quick. Grab the fruit. Come on, grab the fruit. There we go. Check. Yeah, we could use the food and the water real quick. Okay. <clears throat> so. So yeah, so I had to save here. And so, just in case, we might as well... Let's just go ahead and save the game. Alright. So, I forgot. Like, we have double travel to do. We have a whole nother island across. Come on, get in the water. Now flip. There we go. There we go. Now get in the water. Perfect. Alright. More Captain Skopu and his perilous journey across the ocean with islands and all kinds of stuff that's just... Blah. We're alone. So anyway, I love this game because it reminds me of my favorite movie. My favorite movie in the whole entire world is Castaway. Please tell me you've seen Castaway with Tom Hanks. So this game is kind of modeled after that. You know, the whole opening scene with the plane crash. Um, well, actually, I don't know. Did it show, I think it showed that. Uh, it used to. Yeah, it did. That's right. And then there's little Easter eggs. Like you can find Wilson. You can find, but it's called something else. You can find, uh, I hope we want to go a little left because our base is over to the left. You can find a uh, FedEx box, you know, with the wings on it and all that kind of stuff. So, like, it pays homage to it, which is nice. I mean, I'm glad they got inspired by that and created this beautiful game. And it, it keeps getting better and better. They keep graphically making it better, adding better things to it. Like, there's more. There's just more content now, which is nice. And that's why I finally, like I said, I finally decided to give it a whirl. All right. That's the other thing, man. Traveling. Like, so you used to start out with an ore. And it would kind of do the ore um, mechanic and all that kind of stuff. But man, traveling is so slow in just the life raft. I can't wait till we can build a build a boat. And but then that's the other problem is, um, old jump to climb. Oh, I don't want to climb. I don't want to climb. I was just like, why is it giving me that option? Anyway, um, the other thing is is uh, you can run out of gas, so you have to always be finding jerry cans and collecting gas. So it's process but you know it's modeled after real life which is good because i mean if this wasn't real semi-realistic I, I don't think it would be as fun of a survival game all right we'll drag that with our hotkey f so yeah i went to that island in that episode and then that other island behind it so we were way over there we were way over there so let's kind of gather up supplies stick things down see where we're at stuff so over here is all of my engine stuff okay drop engine stuff here and then we'll drop lashings and our wood and all our stuff over here and we got corrugated corrug 
corrugated, corrugated. Am I saying it right? Corrugated, yeah, corrugated crap. Those things just like shoot everywhere. Whoa, whoa! You just like flew up, and I saw the shadow of it. Where'd it go? That was pretty crazy. Must have landed right there. Uh, and then we've got these buoys right here. Oh, it flew way over there. Look at this, it flew way over here. That's funny. I'm gonna bring this back where it's supposed to go. There we go. Uh, another tarp. Tarps make sails on our rafts. Alright, and then I don't need the flare gun right now. Where did I put all my special stuff, like medicine and... Did it ever finish boiling? I don't know. I don't know if it did. Alright, so we'll put all our special stuff at this tree. And hammer, axe, compass. Okay, we'll put all that stuff right there. Oh, here's where I put it. I put it all at this tree. Well, not all. There's like one thing, but put it right here. <clears throat> Alright, let's see if we have enough to build the engine. I think we're still missing parts. So, in order to build the engine, go to sailing, we'll go to propulsion. We are missing the engine itself and one roll of duct tape, so we can't do that, which sucks. Uh, for the bases, we have enough for the buoyancy ball. So we're missing more wood. We could have a normal wood stick raft. Looks like that. We could have the buoyancy ball one that one or the tires, so we might as well make the buoyancy ball one. And we'll go set it in the water. So this will be the beginning stages of our bigger raft. So we'll kind of pull it out a little bit, okay. So now we'll come up here, and we can craft us some propulsion for it, but I would rather actually wait and make a bigger, bigger thing. So we have enough for planks. Yeah, so we have a lot of planks, so we'll make the plank top. So you have to have the, the bottom base, then you have to have the part that you're going to sit on. Like so. So I would rather go in this one, in this bigger raft right now, instead of on this little one. Now eventually, we'll expand this when we get more pieces to it, expand it, expand it, expand it, and then we'll have the engine on it and the, and the tarp. So when we run out of uh, fuel, we can still sail, traditionally sail traditional sail. Uh, I wonder how good... It, we don't have a water bottle. I'm pretty sure it used to start you off with a water bottle, so that kind of sucks. Um, anyway, so I'm going to leave the hammer here and I'm going to leave that crude axe here. And we're going to go back. I'm going to stay with the machete in case I run into the uh, shark. So we'll keep the machete and it's time to time to go back and get some more. Onward we go. Alright. Really? The shark already? Come here, shark. I've got you. Come here. Hiya! Hiya! Did I get you? Did I get you? Nope. But just know I have a machete, bro. I have a machete. I will mess you up. Dude, he's trying to he's trying to knock us off. He is trying to knock us off right now. Uh-uh. 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 What am I gonna call you? Bruce. Yep, yep. Standard Bruce. I mean, who doesn't name, <clears throat> excuse me, who doesn't name a shark Bruce now after uh, Shark Tale, right? Am I right? Yeah, I've seen that. So what? So what if I'm 29 years old? I like to watch animated movies. So sue me. All right, let's put that away. Um, instead of running on that island, I'm just going to bypass the island in the boat, in the raft, and we'll continue on. So, look at this fine, gorgeous day we have. What time is it? It is 120. So now, I don't know, is is in, are any of you familiar with military time such as this, with the 24-hour time? I know a lot of European people would know 24-hour time frame, um, also known for Americans' military time, because we would say on our watch it would be 129, not 1329. But anyway, if you don't know how to read that, it's pretty interesting. But it is the 13th hour of the day, so if you count 1 through 12, that's obviously noon. 1 plus 1 is going to be 1 p.m. So, pretty interesting. Um, I figured out a different way to do it in my head that's like faster than that. When I was younger, I grew up as a military brat, and so I kind of know how to do all that stuff really quick. And then also I served in the military for 11 years. So, 
Um, looking at our watch, it's 79 degrees outside. We've survived for three days. We're doing pretty good. We're doing we're doing all right. You know, we're not doing horrible. Um, sounds like the dang shark is still all over us. Still following us. Um, we're getting thirsty again, but we have some coconuts over here we can grab, which is good. And we'll just kind of gather some more stuff. And I'm pretty sure there is actually another island I may want to go investigate right now, to be honest. And it's to the back left of this island that we're going towards. It's like back that way. It looked insane. It had like a lot of rock features and stuff. So I kind of want to just say, you know, screw our original plan of just taking stuff back and forth. And since we're all the way out here, who knows when we're going to be all the way out here again at this big island. So I say let's go for it. Let's go to this new island and see what stuff. I mean, hey, we may get the uh, propeller parts, you know. Or the engine parts. So you never know. That's the beauty of this game. It's all procedurally procedurally generated. It's a random seed. So you never know what you're going to find. Oh, got a little bit of a lag spike right there. Loading in the island. Okay. Let's see. Let's see when that other island's going to populate for our vision. And it takes forever to travel, though. That is the one downside of this game. So, like, you tell me in the comments, you know. I would prefer you guys just see everything. That way, you know, it's legit and all that kind of stuff. But if it's kind of too boring just listening to me talk about random stuff while we're just sailing, then let me know. And I can do, like, the sailing parts or most of the bigger sailing parts off camera and just stick to more of the gameplay in camera but you gotta understand though like the sailing parts that is the gameplay like that's the game like I, I have to do this to play it so if you want the true experience let me know and you want to keep seeing the sailing drop a comment like pause the video right now scroll down and comment I love your feedback I love to know what's going on what you want what you want to know and uh, excuse me sorry Ever. any other you know stuff you guys want to talk about or you want me to talk about just let me know I love it um, and then you can go back up and resume the game, watching this. Mm. We may get stuck over there with the darkness, though, but that's all right. That's part of the adventure, right? It's 3.30, so I think it's that island over there. I'm not sure, but there will be a moment here when it actually, like, generates a little bit. And you'll see it's got, like, giant rock formations. And it was in the last episode that I recorded, and it didn't work. Oh, yeah, see there. Okay. Look at how cool that looks. Oh man, I hope there's like cool stuff over there. So we're gonna go. We're gonna screw it. We're gonna say screw it. We're going. We are here to survive. The visiting that island could depend on our survival. I just gotta remember to come back to this island and then go right to. Okay, so we're good. But I do have arrows on the two islands behind me pointing home. And like I said in the first episode, always every island you visit, point your way home. I didn't bring my compass or anything, so we're going to use the sticks on the beaches. And there's no map either. Ooh, I wonder what's going to be on there. That's so such a strange such a strange rock formation for there to just be randomly in the middle of the ocean. So, one thing I was kind of hoping with this game because the islands are just so small. Like, okay, so the islands you see now are huge in comparison to the game when the game first came out. Like, when the game first came out, they were small islands. They all looked the same. There weren't any of these. And, uh, yeah, so, like, now I'm happy because there's bigger islands, like the one we were just on, the one we just passed, the one our home base is on, this one we're coming up. But I still think there should be bigger islands because... You have to travel so far. What incentive is there? So, I don't know. That's just my personal feedback with it. And I hear the shark again. Or there should also be, like, more... Like, because you see a ship crashed here and there. And, like, we loot the, the ships and all that kind of stuff. But I feel like there should be more... Hmm, how do you say? Like, proof of people. Because, like, all the time people get marooned on islands. All the time. Real life. So, I don't know. Or just, like... You know, if, if there's a bigger island or, like, a not a continent, but... Oh, there's a huge ship right there. There's a huge ship. Oh, cool. Okay. So this could be worth it. It's getting dark, though, so I think we... 
Oh, I just scared myself with that. Oh, I scared myself. It's so loud with this new headset. Alright, so it's getting dark and we need to sleep. So I think we may want to gather supplies first. Before we explore in there, because it's going to get too dark to see in there. Problem is... I don't see any lashings or anything. Or any ficus plants, so this may be a little hard to pick that up. Is that a ficus? Okay, good. Or a yucca. I don't know why I keep saying ficus. I always do that. Anyway, my bad. Sorry, I'll try to be correct with the yucca plant. Yucca. Yucca. So, we've got that. We've got steel scrap. Um, we're gonna need... We're gonna need some sticks. Uh, I don't see a palm tree here, so I don't know how I'm supposed to make... Well, we might be able to make a bed. What do we need? Mm, to be able to sleep for the bed, we need wood stick lashing. We don't have any palm leaves here. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. What about the shelter? We don't have palm leaves. There's no... Uh-oh, this isn't good. So we're not going to be able to... That sucks. So we're not going to be able to... Yeah, I don't see a single palm tree here. If there's no palm tree, then we're not going to be able to sleep through the night, which means I'm not going to bore you guys to death keeping you here with me while I wait for the night. So I'll just turn it off and we'll finish. But might as well uh, explore a little bit. Alright, what do we got up here? Oop, didn't mean to hit that. Actually, I just want that to be selected. Alright, what do we have inside? Come on. Oh, it's glitching out on me. Oh, it's glitching out. Oh, it's glitching. Come on, let me inside. Can I go inside? Okay. Is there a crouch? Okay. Can I crouch in? Okay, I can crouch in. What do we have? Oh my gosh. Everything's spazzing. Okay, so... Oh, a knife. Okay. And another hammer, which is good because our hammer could always uh, break. Alright, I don't see anything else. It's really dark in here, but I don't see anything else. Anything that we can interact with would light up anyway. So that may be it for inside here. Oh my god, it's so dark. I can't even see how to get out. Where's the door? Okay, there's the door. Alright. Well, it is too dark to really understand what's happening in the game right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and just kind of... Oh, there we go. I got out. Whew, I was thinking I was going to get stuck. I'm going to pause the recording. I think I'm going to stay up on the ship. I didn't see any fruit plants. This may have been a bad idea. Oh, we are thirsty. This may have been a really, really bad idea. We have no meds. We have no palm trees. We have no fruit plants. Guys, I got to go. No, I'm going to go back to the other island. And we're going to have to come back here in the day once we're good to go. Crap. I think it's that island. That one would be the middle one. That one would be the big one. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Alright. I am going to uh, stop the recording right here for just this piece because that's I feel like it's wasted time and I don't want to waste your time on this one because it was just like my dummy fault. I didn't bring any supplies or anything. Are we even moving? Can I get off the rock, please? I hear the dang shark again. Alright, this... This may have been all so bad ideas. There we go. Alright, well I will catch you back uh, when I get situated. Alright, be right back. Alright, we are back. I'm still heading over. Um, I didn't want to really waste the last five minutes of the uh, episode, because that's about how much time we have left on just like night paddling but um the shark has been with me the entire freaking time but on a good note like i remember it being so much more aggressive it used to like really knock you off and i'm kind of okay with it not doing that now because it used to like bounce you off of the uh raft and you'd be screwed like <laughs> you'd be like having to fight it underwater you'd get bit all the time and um you know you'd have to like jump back on your raft so like i like that it's less but at the same time like that made it part part of the cra that, you know that was part of the crazy part of it all so anyway made it back over here we're gonna go ahead and uh 
jump up? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna grab us a fruit. Because we are hungry and thirsty. Alright, so this is our main secondary base. Our main secondary base, that's funny. Oh, look. You can see the cabinet is still lit up from when I was searching it in that ship over there. Alright. Could be... Is that a fruit? Or just a flower? How is that? Why is it... I gotta be careful because of the snakes and the bats. We don't want to venture in too much. Okay, but we have food. Alright, let's go ahead and eat this. Where does that put us? Uh, we need some more water, so we'll go ahead and grab our knife. And duke. And then one, two, three, and four, and then duke. Alright, so we can drink that. Okay, and then we drop it once it's been drank, and then we pick that one up, and we drink it, and then we drop it once it's been drank, and so that put us there, so we're gonna wake up really thirsty, but anyway, so we ended up being back on the same island we started on. Um, I apologize once again for the previous recording of the second episode, because it kind of like got corrupted, so this is like episode 2 version 2. Um, but you didn't really miss too much, just traveling to your traveling there, but then, uh, wow, we had a li nice little snafu with that island over there, so I need to be better about taking... So if it looks like a normal island, like this, it's gonna have supplies. If it looks like a rock island, there are no supplies, there's no way to build a shelter, there's no food, there's no water, so we gotta keep that in mind, but it's a learning experience, and I'm glad we learned it early on, and it didn't cost us our life, because we were able to come back to this island, where we have all these supplies already kind of sitting here. But with that, I think that's gonna do it for today. Um, and uh, like I said, you know, let me know in the comments and let me know what you want to think and what you want me to do with the uh, going through or if you want me to fast edit the travel and like make a little music montage of me just fast paddling. I can do that too. So just let me know. Uh, be sure to smash that thumbs up button if you like what you saw today. And uh, my name is Gofu. I will catch you guys later. Bye.